What to do? Quick backstory, married 16 years, together 20. Four kids, 24 17 10 7. Found out she had an affair with a co-worker November 2016. Tried to put us back together, two years wasted there, she moved out November 2018. Found out in December 2018 that she was seeing he AP within a week of moving out via a text message meant for him, sent to me. Overall, our divorce has been extremely amicable. I was left with a house, my car, my Harley, my business. She only wants child support, nothing more. We remain good friends, but she lies a lot to me, so I am cautious on what she tells me. We are doing a great job of co-parenting our kids, the issue. Ex decided to pick up extra hours and work today, asked if I would take our 7 and 10 year old boys. No problem there. As soon as we get in the car, my 7 year old starts giving me 20 questions about mom's new friend. The AP and his 12 year old son apparently stayed over at my ex's place this past Friday. The AP apparently slept in bed with my ex. The AP's 12-year-old son had a sleepover with my 7-year-old and told him my dad and your mom are boyfriend and girlfriend, which was confusing for him. He was also told by the AP's son that his dad might be my son's new dad. And lastly, my son was asking questions on why this guy was sleeping in bed with his mom. Oh, and they spent the day Saturday going shopping, trampoline park, lunch, etc. like a family. So, I get blindsided with this and my ex obviously did not have a conversation with him about this. This is the first time my son has met either of these two people. I feel like I should not have to clean up her mess and it was extremely inappropriate to have the AP sleep in her bed. We are not fully divorced yet and neither is the AP. How do I go about handling this? My son is confused and I don't feel like I should have to cover for his mother's bad decisions. Please help. Update, Karma slapped my ex right in the face. Background, married 16 years, together 20. Have three children together. Found out about her affair after hacking her phone app seeing messages. She had an affair with a co-worker. Broke it off and tried to fix our marriage, no go. Divorce filed October 2018, she moved out November 2018 and started seeing her AP instantly. Divorce final deck 2019. She was still with her AP, till last week. My ex calls me crying and asking if I can take the kids again overnight. I ask what's wrong and if she is alright. She replies that karma slapped me right in the face. She goes on the explain that she felt something was off, so she decided to go through her AP's phone while he was in the shower. Found a huge string of messages on FB with essing, pics, nasty talk, etc. the same way I found out about her affair. My ex is 39, he is 52 and his new AP is married and only 28. Now, don't get me wrong, I wanted to rejoice to the heavens that it finally happened to her. I told her from day one that the guy is a predator. However, after hearing her out, I understood that she was deeply in love with this guy and the other half of me felt sorry for her. Ironically, she apologized to me more that day, than she ever had about her cheating on me. Saying things like I'm so sorry I put you through this and I never realized how much this hurt you. I took those with a grain of salt cause I have moved on and found someone and we have been happily dating for the last 6 months. The point of this post is to let everyone know that even going through the roughest divorce scenario, things will work out for you and sometimes, karma will step in and give you a small piece of retribution. Redditor's reaction story 2 after that section. Redditor 1, she wanted chaos and she got chaos. She found out that green grass was artificial turf. Now she understands but it's way too late. Redditor follow up, our lives cannot be fully controlled and calm, but the choices we make directly contribute to the level of calm in our lives. Redditor 2, remind me of my ex-wife, just like yours she found out her app cheated on her and separated. Series of apologies coming in, told her to get on Tinder cause there are tons of duck boys who able help her forget app. Redditor 3, be the stability and rock for your kids. They need at least one normalized parent. This will likely begin a dating spiral for her since she's attracted to unhealthy relationships. Also, don't let her in emotionally either, she may try to woo you back. You can tell she's broken emotionally and never been alone in her laugh so the grasping at straws begins now. Op answer, agreed. 
I told her flat out that the ship between us has sailed. She can now wallow in her own misery that she created. Redditor 4, Karma seems to be in a good mood this Christmas time. Redditor 5, Wow, a relationship born from infidelity also ends in infidelity. I for one am shocked. This happens much more often than people realize. Redditor follow-up, very true. Speaking from experience. Listen to the victims trust me it doesn't matter if you have the bigger house or car, more money, younger, more athletic, blah blah blah. I'm forever single trying to accept my gut that I'm better off alone Alice DJ. Story 2, I didn't even cry after it all ended. We got along so well. She confessed her love to me. I thought this is it. This is the one. Even though we met at a bar, we did all kinds of stuff together. We cooked together. We played shows together. Saw shows together. Walked together. Jogged together. Traveled together. Played cards. Held hands. Had great regular SX. Talked nonstop. Then fall came. Drank. Drank more. Cocaine. She started to get angry when she drank. Everything would be fine then she would have a meltdown and hurt herself in a drunken rage. She started taking these meds that she shouldn't have been drinking on, and it just got worse. As her boyfriend, and in my nature, I wanted to help her, but she didn't want to change her habits. I too was realizing how unhappy I was and kept drinking. We weren't growing with each other anymore, but because you love someone and they tell you they love you back, makes it hard to let go. My body hurt. My mind wasn't healthy. I wasn't eating. I was depressed. I told her that we both should stop drinking and doing coke. It's only making the depression worse. She said she didn't see that as a problem for her. I should have abandoned ship right then and there. How dismissive of her to say that to her partner who is in pain. That's not even a friend at that point. I still told her I loved her. She kept up with all the partying as I was trying to save money and keep working. I would worry about her constantly and would stay out with her to make sure she was safe. Then she met another guy one night as her and her friend were scoring some coke. We drank more and more and became more distant. We weren't talking anymore. She'd just be on her phone texting this douchebag the whole time. I knew this was ending but didn't want to admit it. I still told her I loved her. She didn't come to bed one night. Just stayed up talking with this douchebag. When I woke up. They were asleep on the couch together. I left without saying a word. I was pissed. We didn't talk for a few days until the official night we broke up. She said she had feelings for this douchebag. I could tell. I didn't cry. I had been so unhappy for so long with her. I wanted to grow and treat myself better. She wanted to keep going down this self-destructive path. Her and her douchebag guy friend can wreck each other's lives together and have health problems surface in a few years. I don't need that. I'm in my early 30s and have no business partying like I'm in my 20s, or in Motley Crue. I needed a change. I now eat healthy, jog, walk, sleep regularly, drink less, spend quality wholesome time with my friends and family, read and just enjoy the things I used to do before I had convinced myself that I was in love with the one. I feel balanced and relieved that I'm no longer worrying about someone who refuses to take care of themselves. She's that douchebag's problem now, not mine. My next step is hopefully moving the duck out of Portland. I need to get away from the city. I've had enough toxic relationships here, and I just want to escape the city lifestyle. I'm feeling trapped and could use some fresh air. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, glad you were able to break free from her in the addictions. Keep kicking ass. Op answer, thank you. It's only just been two weeks and day by day gets better and better. It's such a relief to have zero stress anymore. As long as I treat myself good, good things and people will come around. Redditor 2, nice. Kicking an addiction is hard enough. Can't imagine it being easy when you toss in tilde alcohol and coke tilde a manipulative abusive cheating girlfriend. Seriously though, congratulations. My one piece of advice, choose carefully if you move to a rural community. Came from a city myself and to be fair I haven't attempted dating in the rural town I have been living in for 4 years, but. Well, on the bright side there is a lot more nature and things do certainly seem slower paced with no traffic and being able to get from one side of town to the other in 5-10 minutes. 
but the people tend to be just as, if not more toxic. Redditor 3, when addictions take over, it's not about you or anything you did or didn't do. You can't save someone who doesn't want to save themselves. She wasn't the person you fell in love with. This is a stranger. I'm glad you were able to get away and I hope you're able to stay healthy and move on and find someone who puts as much into your relationship as you do. Redditor follow up, she wasn't the person you fell in love with. Thank you. For some reason those words just clicked and now I'm crying. Redditor 4, there are exceptions obviously, but for the most part, you're not meeting a quality woman in a bar. Especially not a woman who is still running the bars in her 30s. My ex-wife is 37 and still bartending. Still partying it up on the weekends and ducking nasty ass men. It's a flaw in their DNA, they'll never grow up. Stay strong brother. Redditor 5, this resonated with me so much. Thank you for sharing your story. Op answer, no problem. I'm happy to share. It feels good to get that off my chest. If you have a similar experience you'd like to share, feel free to message me. Redditor 6, not all addiction are drug related and you seem to be back fine from yours. Congrats. Redditor 7, I'm so glad you freed yourself from that mess. Continue on your healing and on your recovery and please do keep us updated okay. Redditor 8, bless you and bless her also that she will eventually take the same constructive steeps you've taken. Pray for you both. Redditor 9, best of luck and glad you are no longer on a destructive path. One thing I luckily learned in my 20s you can never change a party girl guy. I partied as well a lot, but one day was like this as it is old and now my life has been a lot better since I grew up.